One thing we haven't tried in the Travel Buddy so far is pizza, so uh, this is the first time we're giving that a go. Not sure how it's going to work or how long it'll take, but uh, what we have to do is just slice it in half. They won't quite get a full-size pizza in there. But if you cut it in two, then uh, half on each shelf seems to work okay. So we'll leave it in there for, I suppose, about 40 minutes to start off with. And then see how it's looking and whether it needs more time. Now this is a defrosted pizza, so it's not frozen before I'm using it. And we'll see how it goes. Number one thing I've discovered is that just running this on batteries and solar really doesn't give the travel buddy enough oomph. So you can see what's happened here. Uh, yeah, we get some melted cheese and that going on, but uh, this is now after about 35, 40 minutes. That's quite a long time. It really wasn't getting hot and I could put my hand on the front here. You can see this, hold my hand on it and yeah, it's just not hot. I put the engine of the vehicle on because we've got a DC to DC charger and within probably five minutes that was too hot to touch. What I've done now, I've put the generator on in the trailer and hooked that up. So we've now got 240 volt, which is also going to run the battery charger. And I'm wondering if that will be enough to give this the power it needs. Obviously 12 point something is not enough. This is going to have to be over 13 volts to really get the travel buddy working properly. They work brilliantly when the engine's running, but they're very, very, very slow. Uh, it, once you turn that engine off and you're just relying on your batteries and solar. Let's just have a look at what we've got. We've only got 12.4 showing on the batteries at the moment. That's pretty low actually. I'm quite surprised at how low that is. The battery shard charger should have kicked in by now. In fact it was showing 12.7 when I had the engine running. So there is a voltage problem with this, and I'm running a heavy cable up to it. I'm not running a light cable to it. So there's no voltage drop problems. Uh, the batteries are just under the seat here, so they're almost next to it. And we do need more heat than that to cook things, otherwise it's nothing but a slow cooker and you're just going to drain your batteries in order to get anything cooked, which won't do the job. Now, ah yes, now I can feel that already. I've only just had the generator on a few minutes and now just in the time it's taken to shoot this I can't hold my hand on that door anymore so putting the generator on does make the difference so if you're going to run a travel buddy outside of just when you're running your vehicle and driving you do need some other external power source to get this really ramped up and running at full temperature otherwise it's never going to get there that's, yeah, that is, and I can't keep my hand on there now, so it makes a huge difference when you have another power source and uh, that's pushing more volts into the system. Okay, so we finally have the result. It took a lot longer than I expected, and that was because the travel buddy just wasn't getting the voltage it needed. As soon as I tried it with the engine on, and you can see this is crisped up okay, that's not too bad for a pizza. It's melted everything, everything's cooked. But it does need that extra bit of power that you do not have if you're just relying on solar and the batteries on their own. So when you're sitting still, if you haven't got some way of boosting your voltage, it's going to take you an awful long time and a lot of amps out of your battery before you're ever going to get anything cooked. So important, have a second power source available. Travel buddies are absolutely brilliant at cooking things when you're on the move and your engine's running. But if you're stationary, you're going to need something like a generator to boost that power. Otherwise it's going to take you forever and you may never get there. I was alerted to a solution to this by one of our viewers, David Price. He told me about a step-up converter that will boost the 12 volt system to 13.8 volts with no engine running. I did a quick search and found that Somerville Metals have one available. As they also make accessories for the Travel Buddy, I guessed that they would be the ones to source this gizmo from, 
so I've ordered one and I'll let you know in another video how it all works and what the result is. Well that's that little experiment done I'm going to sit down and enjoy this now. Thanks for watching, catch you later, see ya.